free chat rooms, how to spot freaks, geeks and dirty old men. Chat rooms can be depressing little places, mostly full of horny nerds looking to fiddle with their trousers in front of something more interactive than pixelated lady bumps. It's a place where the anonymity of the internet couples with the disposable nature of text floating off into the cyber ether, leading to all sorts of horrific weirdness. That anonymity can be very dangerous indeed. Who's really hiding behind that screen name? Video Jug's here to help you out. Sexy Gal 1984 It's a man! Princess Twinkle It's either a preteen or a man. Either way, tread carefully. Cool Dude 88 It's a nerd. What's more, it's an extraordinarily uncool nerd. Genuinely cool people, like the Fonz, don't need to draw attention to their coolness unless they're jumping over sharks on water skis. Cylon File 1138 Anyone with square brackets and or numbers in their handle is a teenager and as such is not to be trusted. They'll spell things wrong, misuse the possessive apostrophe and have caps lock firmly glued down. Daz underscore sad face. Depressed nerd who'll mope and whine about a presumably fake girl he recently finished with. Most likely she's from a different country and they've actually never, you know, met, only in chat rooms, but it was quite serious there for a bit, lol. Otaku. Desperately wants to live in a Japanese cartoon. Hachimomashite. Ikido. Uzumaki. Cutie Pie1987. We'll say lol 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 a lot and use kisses like they mean something. Kiss kiss kiss. Hacksaws lols. Definitely a teenager and definitely unable to hack anything other than 127.0.0.1. Badass. Unnecessarily antagonistic. Horny babe 82. Cruising for sex. Again, probably a ma definitely a man. 12 inches for you. Cruising for sex. Probably a man, probably a teenager, probably a nerd. In either case, they've only got a minuscule dinkle. Of course, all stereotyping is essentially little more than clandestine institutionalized racism, and not strictly speaking true. So try to go into each and every chat room with a carefree attitude and tolerance for others, and you should do fine. Unless you're a teenager, of course, in which case, bugger off. Done.